Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and on this channel I talk about my life in Brisbane as well as my travels. Hope you enjoyed those clips that I showed before of my stay at the Pullman Miri waterfront. I apologize for my voice. I've had a cold this week and I'm still recovering from it. I stayed at the Miri Pullman waterfront for a couple of nights. This was the last hotel of my stay in Miri. I actually almost didn't get there. I thought I had made a booking and turned out I completely imagined that I made a booking. So I was lucky enough that they had availability. And because I'd booked last minute, the rate was more than I had planned, but that's okay because I really wanted to stay at that hotel. It's located in the waterfront area, so that's kind of a new area in Miri. And it's close to Miri Times Square where there are restaurants and cafes. And the Miri Pullman Hotel itself is quite new. It was actually, the, to me, the prettiest hotel that I stayed in in Miri. It, in terms of the room decor, the view, the public areas like the lobby and the restaurant. The room itself was gorgeous. I really enjoyed its quite modern furnishings and the view was gorgeous. I had a view of the river, the sea, as well as maybe yeah, city center area. I didn't order any room service. I found myself wanting to explore the area and I also had catch-ups with friends and my cousins. So some of the time I was out or I bought some takeaway to have in the hotel room. I also used their laundry service, which was quite fast and efficient. They also provided coffee and tea supplies as well as some bottled water in the room. Location-wise, I would say there's not a whole lot in that area yet of interest to me. I don't think it's better than 
when I was at the Maritz or the Imperial because those were attached to malls. And as I've mentioned before, Miri's not really set up for pedestrians. So I thought it would be good to walk to Miri Times Square, but it's a little hard when we've got these big two lane roads to cross. It's not very safe. But I did make it across that road to get back to the hotel one morning. So it's not the most convenient area if you need a wide range of supplies, for example. But if you're happy to get to the malls, if you need more items, or just happy to order from the hotel, then you'll be alright. I did have breakfast at the hotel my last morning there with my brother. We went for the buffet breakfast and it was huge there was cold section hot section cooking stations they had cooking stations for eggs for noodles it was huge i think they even had like an indian section as well so really a lot of choice and i remember when i had to check out and i was a bit late because i left my packing to the last minute and i bought some stuff so it meant repacking my luggage there were two at reception for people to check out and uh, it was about 10 maybe and my flight leaving Miri to KL was around noon so it was a bit tight and there was a European looking gentleman at one of the receptionists who seemed to just be sitting there like there didn't seem to be any progress in his checking in and there was a passport and the lady was moving between computers and he was saying something like i'm with this other group and i noticed that he was dressed in what looked like maybe offshore uniform you know those bright colored overall uh, type suits and there was a group of other gentlemen maybe local gentlemen and they had no problems with their check-in so because i was in a hurry i asked my brother to stand in the other queue with my luggage so that i would be able to check out as soon as one of them was available and it turned out that the other lady was available and i think she was a bit shocked because she was like can i help you and i'm like that's my bag and not to lama gila i said gesturing to the European gentleman sitting on at the other receptionist and basically my view is that if he doesn't have a reservation then he should go and make one instead of holding up the queue and I don't know why he needed to be entertained like if I rocked up and I didn't have a reservation therefore I don't have a reservation right I wouldn't require holding up the staff and all these other people behind me needing to check out because by then quite a large queue had formed. So I guess if I were on that reception team, I would be calling management at this point and saying, or telling the gentleman, find us your reservation, or do you want to make a reservation now and we'll see whether we can find a room for you instead of holding up other guests. Apart from that, I think I had quite a good stay at the Puma and Mary waterfront. I really liked the bathroom. It was the best bathroom of the hotels I stayed in because it had a window facing outwards on the bathtub side and it was a really beautiful view. Would I stay there again? I'd consider it. It's a really lovely hotel and the most modern of the hotels that I stayed in during this trip and I think it would be even better if they had set up a pedestrian crossing where people could cross safely because I did see also a young family with a pram trying to maneuver in that area and it's even worse because they would have had to lift the pram above the curbs because the area isn't designed for walking or for prams. There is no dedicated walkway or pavement for pedestrians. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. Love to have you here.
thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye